Hello all, welcome back and a happy new year to you all. Thanks for all your comments, subs and likes. I've gained a few, so thank you for subbing. Right, I'm gonna give you an update on what's happening with all of my uh, seedlings and stuff, because there is a few casualties from the frost, I'm afraid. So right, I'll get you down off of here and I'll show you around. This is my uh, Broad Beans Barnyard Exhibition and as you can see they have been well frosted so look so yeah I'm just going to pick the tops off because they're not going to do anything they're rotted now as you can see hopefully they will come back so we'll have to, I'll have to give you an update on that whether that I've got more so I could always plant some more but we'll see how we go see if any of them come back up and this is the uh, cauliflower that's very droopy but it's started to grow back in the middle again I was going to take it out actually but We'll just leave it and see what happens. I'm not expecting anything, so we'll see what happens with that. This is the Cabbage Primo Free. Tops of it has got a little bit frosted, but it's doing all right. I'll just leave that. Take that leaf. I'm probably gonna, actually, I'll do it now. I'll just take the bombs off. I don't think it's gonna do anything, but now I'll just leave it and see what happens. But yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Chuck that in there. And the uh, kohlrabi seems to be doing all right. It hasn't really been affected really by the frost, which is quite good. So they're looking quite healthy. And I think this is another cauliflower, I'm not too sure to be honest, but that's doing all right. That didn't get hit as bad as what that one did. So, yeah. I don't know whether it's because it was near this open door, probably, that's why. So, right, I'll take you outside and show you what's happening in the brassica cage. And this is inside the brassica cage. What we got is. Uh, Senshu onions and four primo free cabbages and I've got well I did have six red cabbage at the back there but yeah we'll see how we go with them they're looking all right not too bad but yeah just wanted to put a bit of size on and let's uh, show you the rest of the onions the garlic like this first few lines in here the uh, what are they let's have a look out oh, there the radar in there then there must be uh, some garlic pink germy door in there as well then I've got the rest of the uh, senshu onions up there I did put a few of them kohlrabi in there but they're all right getting a bit eaten but yeah we'll see how we go with them then i've got this broccoli it's doing all right it's not too bad but we'll see how we go not expecting great things with them really but hey you never know strawberries are doing all right Coming back, not too bad. Oh, get rid of them. They can go in the compost bin. But yeah, I need to clean these up a little bit, get rid of some of all these old dead leaves. Uh, these ones are like the little pine berries. They're like little white ones. Don't get very many, but yeah bit of a novelty really since I've put this and leveled this bit out 
if you look, there is loads of uh, worm casts everywhere. So that's good. So there's obviously loads of worms and stuff about, which is good. But yeah, it's still a bit wet for me to be start doing this uh, walkway really. But we'll get there in the end. The uh, compost bin. It has gone down a little bit. But yeah, yeah, I'll get there, I'm sure. As you can see, I've been chucking bits and bobs on there. Let's have a look in the uh, manure bin. It hasn't really gone down that much, but it hasn't really particularly been that hot, has it? So. Yeah, that's a rotted horse manure I put in there on top of some new stuff. And this is the uh, other compost bin. I need to get and sort this bit out. Really, I need to do a bit of a retaining wall because this is starting to collapse. And obviously, stop it so I'm probably gonna use them two pallets and put a wall along there with pallets I'll probably need to get another pallet just to make sure that I've got enough to go all the way along but yeah, loads of stuff to come so not a lot really to show you that's about it really but that's getting moved as well. But that's got water in it. I didn't think it looks like it's collapsing actually. I didn't think I'd put any water in there, but I have. So I'll have to empty that out. I want to get that shifted over to that corner. And I'm going to dig out these red robin hedge bit because obviously I don't want that there now. And then. Once I've dug them out, I'm going to plant them in there just to carry on with that hedge there. So, yeah, but as you can see, there's loads of mess and God knows here as well to clear up. So there's plenty, plenty to do. But, yeah, there you go. Gnomes are still there. Gate's still all right, actually. Won't now that I put that brace on there, that's fine. Nothing more with that now. It'll last a little bit longer now. <laughs> right, I still need to uh, take a little bit of this off of here, and then I can level it out with that. And this is going to be my. Um, root vegetable bed for like turnips and all that sort of stuff and parsnips but there is a rhubarb over there so I'm not digging that up so I'll just use probably about that much I'll probably put another board in there actually put a couple of boards up a couple of more boards up around the side here so it's a little bit deeper than over that side These are the uh, slabs, the half cut slabs that I got for free. I'm going to use them, and I've got loads of them bricks and stuff about. And that's what I'm going to make my path with down here. So, yeah, we're going to have some slabs and bricks in between, and yeah, all that sort of stuff. So, it should be quite good, hopefully. <laughs> now, nah, I'm sure it'll be all right. Right, just a quick look around really just to show you what's happening and stuff and for the uh, new subscribers to catch up so they know what's going on so and if you haven't subscribed yet bells down in that corner click on the bell click on all and you'll get my notifications mm -hmm.